Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seem to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too.
<sighs> Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. <laughs> Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, I know. I just wish she wasn't around anymore. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? Sort of. We did a lot of illegal shit. If the cops catch us, We'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. <sighs> well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of... The wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied the evil Chupacabra, and they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <sighs> Dude, this is my version. You can make your own. Okay. Cool. So... <clears throat> the Wolf Brothers... finally see the edge. Of their new home. Okay, okay. I gotta think of my own version first. So you don't influence me. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stephen King Jr. Get on that. After we pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. Every star looked the same, until we used Karen's old guidebook. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Thank you. 
sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah. Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. God damn. That food was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Yo, Captain Cam, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. But it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. And no funny business. Of course not. On the way. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey. We saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah. These guys are real cool. Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Shh. 
She's... Um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know... I mean... She hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. That must be weird for her. I hear you. Hey, see this? Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait, does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. Hmm, now what the hell is that? Hey, come on. Daniel, I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Oh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. Hey, you know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> I miss him sometimes. Oh, shit. That wasn't here yesterday. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. Easy peas. <laughs> nice man. See what Joanne is doing. 
Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. Ten four. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. Ten four. No flying pancakes today. Karen did help us a lot since she found me and Daniel. Better late than never. <laughs> Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Looks like they all finally found their home. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye loop handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. 
Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry. <sighs> so good to have a home. Again. <laughs> and a real bed. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us, too. Still can't believe she's kept it. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I can't see much depth anymore. I need to observe even more. Now I can see why Karen lights it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Um, more like no service anywhere. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow 
know stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, I bet everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Guess people came here with ease and never left. <laughs> Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. <laughs> she even found a boat once. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. Like in your hand? Yeah. There's power cuts all the time here. In my fingers. But no one's really bothered by it. That's so weird. Joanne I says she it. needs all this junk to grow inspiration <laughs> yeah. from. It's the best thing ever. Joanne can throw a total rager out here, but without asshole neighbors. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. I hope the UFOs are listening. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. Hey. Your Captain Spirit drawing... was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he can visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yep. Let's make it happen. Yeah! Instead of snowmen, we can make sandcastles! Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. 
Me neither. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Now that's some real patriots. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. Huh. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. Wonder where he's at now. <laughs> he could write our whole story. I should bring the telescope back to Arden Stand before I forget. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <laughs> Kinda like me and Lila. Back in the day. Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in, with no cars. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. <sighs> Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, uh, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. 
And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Man, I thought my art was weird. <sighs> Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Maybe that's supposed to represent the Earth. Or a ball. Ready, Sean? <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you... slam dunk the Earth Ball onto the base? What? Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Hmm. Now let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Check it out. going with this <laughs> clever uh where is he going sean is about to show you daniel keep watching now let's throw on that spider totally Yo, can you turn that, that, um, spider thingy around? There he goes! I feel like we're almost done. <laughs> well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Oh, yeah! It's super cool! Thanks for listening to me, Sean. It's exactly what I wanted. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you That's cool, like Joanne that. trusted me to help build her sculpture. It's kinda like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot shrouded in dust. This part of town is dead this time of year. I, I miss those bus trips with Lila and the guys. What's the story with this one? Bad habits turned religious dogmas. Or uh, just a stupid pile of scrap. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. 
I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. This is such a weird fucking place. <laughs> but that's what's cool about it. <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then, we got the hell out of the Bay Area, for the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be, or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert, Brew. <laughs> These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Oscar and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Weird. You know, it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. I could get used to that scenery. <laughs> super Wolf to the Silver Runner. Copy, I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find 
find my secret treasure? 10-4. Okay. You're on it, Anno. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. You're warming up. Not too far. Ah, uh, it burns. Hoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Getting warm? Getting closer. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now just match up to the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. It's close, Sean. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. Yes, I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. It looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Come on! Yeah! 
You asked for it. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Okay, Dandavillian, here I come. Too bad there's nobody my age here. <laughs> but this is where people come to get old. Hey. Glad to see you survived the night. Hey, in the what's desert. up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. <laughs> hey, thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> ...skills. <laughs> Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> Before her mom died, we never got along. She was angry. I was stupid. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. 
Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <sighs> okay. Time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <laughs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then.
should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Mac, I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big and pretty. And so quiet, except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Hunters out here. Oh, whatever. The Wolf Brothers aren't afraid of any hunter. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. <laughs> you actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. <sighs> I know. <sighs> this is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. And where you're going. Karen. Be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> you made it this far. Going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But... I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This couldn't last forever. 
so... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, oh honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to, to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. Don't give up. Don't. <sighs> It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules. No matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. 
Don't let anybody get in the way. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait. Let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Tell can't believe she's kept it. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Look at that. They won't ever leave us alone. Hey, Karen. I'm better with drawing than writing, but still. Here it goes. You're still an oddball to me. But, you know, I'm glad I got to spend time with an oddball like you. So don't give up on your freedom. Despite our differences, I'm glad you get to do things your own way. Just lay low for a while. We'll try to reach you once we find our own freedom. Until then, take care. Sean. I had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <laughs> Brody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it.
We miss you too, Lila. Always. Should go see what David wants now. David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. John. Hey, Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Must be his wife. Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. Yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Hmm. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Wonder where David got this police scanner. Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only got to search between 140 and 160. Hope you're having a lovely morning on mm. string cord. Doesn't sound like cops. That's all I'm saying, folks. But uh, back to our caller. Talk uh, about no. Folks. Go on, sir. Uh, all I would say is, uh, now you have these, these, these eco-terrorists trying to shut down our way of life. Just to, just to punish us. You can't even look at a, a tree anymore without getting some, some fun. This place has too many adults. But I'm gonna miss it. I mean, why is there... Another hit from the backwoods on dusty rocks. Nah, nothing there.
of a ten ten down by Wait, is this it? Sam's? Oh, shit. Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just... Honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Now, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away, never to look back, while I was trying to rebuild. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on, like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them, and we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way, and I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean. I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I wanna be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. 
you're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Yeah, I know. How about that other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed, then. Nah, your old man doesn't fear the heat. <laughs> yeah, those solar panels are finally up and running. You'll see them next time you come by. Maybe if you drive down to Louisiana or Texas, that'd be cool. Yeah, gotcha. All right, take care then. Wish Max luck for me, okay? Bye-bye. Love ya. It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel after all this time in a community. Let's check you out one last time. be fine in Mexico. Don't worry. Everyone hooked us up from their own stocks. So we won't have to stop. You deserve a nice beach retreat. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard, but he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. 
I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over. If we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals. And you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out. Like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, but it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <laughs> Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit, I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care, you hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Looks like we got everything. Time to hit the highway. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks. But they're just sick of the bullshit. Come on. First thing that comes to your mind. Hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So. What do you think? <laughs> Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good, that makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. 
for everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I'll miss you so much. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Anano. Come here. Mom. I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both and what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean. This is it. Thanks, Mom. For being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. Hey, is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? 
That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? How do you think we can live here? No more running, and I don't... So... What are we gonna do for money and stuff? I... Get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school... Dude! I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or... Do anything if I can't talk? Everybody likes you, man. You'll be the cool American kid in no time. I can do that. Maybe. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. So big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on the way, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. Oh no. Sean, why would they arrest mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. They better. I'll teach them a lesson if they don't leave us alone. They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. Unless our car breaks down in the desert. Hey. 
Sean? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's gonna be super easy with my power. Shit. I didn't think there'd be more than a barbed wire fence out here. This is the opposite of Seattle. We're at the end of America. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. to bro uh, almost it's okay it's okay just breathe Shh. breathe <laughs> we did it <gasps> we fucked that shit up <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, man. Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. It'll be so Daniel. Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. 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 No! No way! Not now! Daniel! 
Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, oh! Oh! oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed him. Let me him. go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! We're going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? So tell me the plan. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Porter Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. No, Still bleeding. Don't touch him! Get off! D don't move! Uh. What? What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Manny. Do what the officer says. Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegal! Fuck's sake! What'd I say? Oh. Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Don't look at me. This has been. See. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron a, a, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. 
Si lo dejaron aquí quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. I wonder how long they've been here. And why. Thanks. I'll remember that. Jeez. Wonder how many people have been locked up in here. No way I can break through that door without Daniel's help. This guy must be trained not to listen to anything we say. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad, queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. Pero, ¿por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Son muy valientes. Y además estás embarazada. <ríe> Mi Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo. <ríe> Y la más inteligente también. En nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país. Que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida... Una vida mejor a nuestro hijo. O hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero... Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. You're generalizing. Not all immigrants cause trouble. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Lots of them do. Our prisons are full. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> that's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. 
Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our Siéntate, country. Hijo. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale la pena. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey! You have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay? Let's move it. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's all right. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. No. Coffee's gonna make me feel Shit. so much better. Daniel doesn't freak out in here. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle, 
Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But... Denying what you did will only make things worse. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? Uh, sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. You okay? How do you feel? I'm okay. Just a little headache. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Yeah. Hey! Hey! This isn't long. Bullshit! We gotta go. Get us out of here! Sorry for that. I still like you. You'll be fine. Who are these people? Well... Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who try to shoot you. Really? Bet they deserve a lesson. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Wow. That's it! Gracias. Muchas gracias. Esperenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. Holy mother! How'd you do that? How? Well, what the fuck are you? Yes. Come on. Let's get out before the fucking backup gets here. Wait, aren't you supposed to... Yes, yes. Daniel, can you open their cell? After what they did to me? No way, Sean. You're right. 
Never mind. That's what he gets, right? Well... He's up for the count. Good thinking, Daniel. Okay, hands oh, up! shit! Don't oh, move! Don't shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean? Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick! I gotta find something to stop them. Come on! Get rid of them! The chair! What the We will shoot if we need to! Understand? Fire extinguisher! Fuck. Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't do anything stupid, This is kid. our last... Throw that locker. Idiots. They should have known better. Yeah, they saved our asses. Now, let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. What did you do? You fucking fucker! Nice! Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Come on, Sean! We gotta go! There's probably more of them coming. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go. Let's roll, Daniel. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean. It's the 4th of July. Our first one without dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, we can't let them get us. Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hands above your head! Do exactly what I say! Hmm. 
You know that day in Seattle, the day Dad was shot. I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you are the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano. Like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? They make it to the other side. Be careful.
to go now. Yeah. Let's go home.